here in East Tennessee, it was successful. It's exactly what happened in Cock County. A 14 year old was charged with disorderly conduct and harassment after authorities found a kill list in his possession. WBIR 10 News reporter Madison Wade spoke with the sheriff who says the tip came from a concerned parent. Madison. John Sheriff Armando Fontes says while this situation is unfortunate, everyone involved did the right thing. He's urging parents and students to stay alert when it comes to these types of threats. All it took was one concerned student to alert Cock County authorities to a possible threat at Edgemont Elementary. One of the, the children actually uh, looked at the situation as being something serious and uh, being as something that uh, that should be addressed and talked to her mother about it and expressed her concerns. That parent told a school resource officer about a boy having a kill list and planning to shoot specific students at their school. So the actual title on the top of it was kill list. Uh, it was a list of individuals that he was having trouble with. Cock County Sheriff Armando Fontes says they acted immediately. And the parents were very cooperative. That helped in this case uh, quite a bit uh, because they uh, not only feared for the, uh, the safety and concern of their own child, they feared uh, for the safety and concern of the other kid. Inside the home, they found the kill list and also discovered the student had access to a firearm. There was only one semi-automatic handgun that uh, the child could have had access to if he was uh, to decide to go ahead and try to carry out a violent act. Uh, and uh, it was not secured in any, any form or fashion. Fontes says the student claimed he had no intention of hurting anybody and that he was a victim of bullying. Still, the sheriff's office says the threat was serious. This was a, a legitimate step uh, in the process of uh, which could lead to an active shooting uh, situation. They charge the student with disorderly conduct and harassment. Fontes urges parents to stay vigilant and to report any threat of this nature always. It's vital to the safety of everyone. According to Sheriff Fontes, the school system will be talking to upper class students about the importance of reporting these types of threats, but also why it's important not to be a bully.